Most YouTube channels have a meaning behind their channel name. Mine is PensyFam19. This means that I am a fan of the Pennsylvania Railroad, otherwise known as the Pensy, the 19 representing the year 2019. Even though I also respect other railroads, including the Pensy's rival, the New York Central, Pennsylvania Railroad is one of my favorites as they are the railroad which controlled a railroad which I see often, the Long Island Railroad, and that they have a certain level of exquisiteness, uniqueness, and class. This is the case as they applied this to almost every aspect of the railroad with their grand stations, such as Penn Station in New York City, their world-renowned services, such as the Broadway Limited, their successful locomotives, including the GG1 and the K4, and streamlined doodlebugs. That's right, you heard me. Streamlined doodlebugs. This is one of the examples of how the Pensy brought their unique level of quality right down to the branch lines throughout their system. Ever since the beginning of railroading, branch lines of passenger railroads were ran by steam locomotives and at least one coach, sometimes with freight cars, known as a mixed train. As time went on, however, especially beginning in the early 1900s, railroads ordered self-propelled rail cars which would carry an appropriate amount of passengers and freight if needed, while freeing up needed locomotives and passenger cars to serve busier main lines. With increasing orders of self-propelled rail cars efficiently serving the branch lines of the nation, the Pennsylvania Railroad was no exception to this trend, as the Pensy quickly ordered rail cars, otherwise known as doodlebugs, to serve their branch lines across their expansive system. Certain doodlebug manufacturers at the time included McKean Motor Car Company, Rail, and EMC, who later added the Pullman Coach Company to produce them. The one which this episode will be focusing on is number 4663. This doodlebug was one of two built by Westinghouse with the Pullman Car Company in 1929, along with its sister engine, 4664. Both of them were equipped with a Westinghouse Beardmore six-cylinder oil electric engine to power them. 4663 and its sister served the Pensy on nearly countless branch lines at the time, especially on the Logansport to South Bend, Indiana branch on train numbers 316 and 319. These two doodlebugs served the Pensy very well for a decade until 1941, when an accident involving doodlebug 4648 in Ohio a year prior led to the rebuild of all of these rail cars on the Pensy from gas engines to diesel engines. Before this conversion from gas to diesel, the shop workers of the Pensy saw potential in this rail car as they modified 4663 into something in the likes which the world has never seen. After a rebuild of this rail car, it came out streamlined, an honor only given to mainline express locomotives at the time, as it was the only doodlebug which the Pensy rostered which was streamlined, and one of the few streamlined doodlebugs in the world. It was later refitted with a Hamilton 68SA engine in 1944, and continued to serve the branch lines of the system to passengers with the new shovel nose design on its front. This rail car was later spotted on the Grand Rapids and Muscogon local and was given safety stripes on the front later on. However, starting at the end of World War II, right when the Pensy and other railroads expected a boom in passenger ser service, most Americans wanted to drive off to suburbia in their new car as passenger train service started a decades-long decline, which ruined the railroads of America, and was further injured by the construction of highways across the nation which drained passenger trains of their passengers. This had an especially devastating effect on the small branch lines of the nation, as it was more convenient at the time to buy a car to go from town to town rather than in a doodlebug, causing countless branch lines to shut down. As there was little to no service left for this doodlebug and others of its kind, 4663 was scrapped in 1954, ironically the same year when the auto industry started to take off with the signing of the Air State Highway Act. Thankfully, its memory is still kept alive through the use of photographs of 4663 in its original and streamlined form, as well as the preservation of other Pennsylvania Railroad doodlebugs to show how life usually was on the branch lines of the Pennsylvania Railroad. Thank you all for watching this episode of Remarkable Engines. This series does not necessarily go over locomotives which are famous in railroading, or all of the engines in one railroad, but rather specific underrated engines which this series brings more light upon, and 4663 is no exception as it is the only streamlined doodlebug rostered on my favorite fallen flag railroad. Not to mention, the concept of a streamlined doodlebug is a bit of a paradox, as streamlining is a technique used in order to achieve speed for famous passenger trains on busy mainlines, instead of short little known branch lines of the same railroad. 
with the use of an exquisite technique on an unsuspecting doodlebug, shows how this Rero brings its standards of quality to all aspects of its system, even to its smallest branch lines. Thank you again for watching and stay tuned next time when I cover Tri-Rail's only FP9, Tri-Rail 904. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Have a good day.